You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Average American consumes 77 pounds of added sugar annually, more than 22 teaspoons a day. Recent studies have identified sugar as a major contributor to our health crisis. I'm Sarah Connor, and you're watching Life and Style with Sarah. On tonight's show, we're talking about sugar, what it does to our health, and what we can do about it. My guest is Rita Neal. She's a holistic nutrition counselor, and she's going to help us get control of our daily sugar consumption. Rita, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Sarah. So there have been a lot of studies that have been making the news lately about sugar and what it, the evils of sugar. It's even been called toxic. So talk to us a little bit about what that means, what these studies are saying, and how it's impacting us. Right. The studies. Uh, that are coming out that have been coming out in the last few years are really interesting about sugar because they they not only talk about diabetes but mm -hmm. also blood pressure uh, certainly obesity and heart disease which um, the the heart disease and the high blood pressure are kind of we don't um, think of them having to do with um, sugar we but associate it with, with high more cholesterol fats, fats yes, yes fats and we're fats. realizing that um, sugar really is a culprit in a lot a lot of different um, diseases that we thought were more fat related so um, and it, it can be both but sugar mm -hmm. really is a culprit in a lot of different diseases absolutely okay and so when it's called toxic when it's saying people are saying it, it's poisoning us what is, what exactly is it doing I mean isn't isn't a calorie a calorie? If you eat a sugar calorie, isn't isn't that the same right. as that's very any other? new? Yeah, that's very new too. The, um, a calorie is no, not a calorie. It used to be thought of yeah. as mm -hmm. if you ate like at Weight Watchers, if you ate right. one point, it was a one point could be a, a chocolate brownie or one point could be an apple. You know, whatever you know, or, or there are a different big bowl of fruit points or exactly. Right. So, um, but they're realizing now, even Weight Watchers has changed that. They're realizing now that. Um, a sugar, which is, um, we're talking about refined sugars or added sugars, um, don't come along with the fiber that their counterparts or their whole parts, like if you had a cane, piece of cane where the cane mm -hmm. sugar comes from, there's a lot, of, have you ever seen it? It looks like a piece of wood. If it's you ate it, yeah, right, if you ate stick. it, right. it's mildly sweet, but because we process it down into the white powder, mm -hmm. it does a very different thing. Uh, thing to in our bodies it goes okay. it um, goes to our liver and there's been fatty liver and um, different all different liver issues that are happening uh, certainly diabetes because of the insulin not being able to keep up with all the sugar that mm -hmm. we're constantly bombarding our bodies with so it's not necessarily the apple or the whole mm -hmm. sugar that's the problem it's the it's the processing down to this very um, specific and incredibly sweet, um, you know, fructose, su sucrose, the, the sugars that we have in, in the packages on in the table. Of, okay. Yeah. So, um, so when, they, when we're talking about reducing sugar intake, it's, it's added sugar. So what does that, so added sugar meaning something that doesn't occur naturally? Like milk has a lot of sugar in it. Right. And that's a great point. Milk sugar is um, lactose. And lactose is, comes along with the milk in a whole product, and it's actually fine for your body. One of the kind of rules of thumb mm -hmm. is if it come, if it's, um, you know, food is kind of created not to be necessarily toxic, whole foods. So if you eat the whole product, like a milk, mm -hmm. like um, an apple, or any kind of a whole product, a whole food, a tomato, so the way it grows. The, the way, way it, it grows, right. right off the vine or right from the cow. Um, it's it's um, with all the other ingredients that are going to help it um, go into your body and be up, uptake, up, you know, um, digested in your body so that you are going to be able, your body's going to be able to handle it fine. Right. It comes and with all the good stuff. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, 
we, it's not until we break it down that okay. it does become a problem. So the added sugars are what we're looking for so in the So the first labels. rule of thumb is this side of the table is okay because this is, right. these fruits, even an apple has, uh, I have it listed, apples have 25 grams of sugar per an eight ounce yes. apple. Yeah. So that's about four teaspoons, six actually, six teaspoons of sugar, but because it comes in its solid form, with the fiber of the apple and the skin, it's okay. Right, and it's not the same as saying it comes with sh that teaspoon right. of sugar because that's not the way it is. It is, it is molecularly different than the four teaspoons of sugar because of the way it's bound to all the fiber, the fiber that's in, the in there. And the fiber is really the big part of what's happening in the fruits and the fact that if you take the f the uh, sugars out without mm -hmm. the fiber, that's when you start getting So that's when problems. we start hearing about juice is bad, drinks with added sugar. Right. So let's talk about that a little bit. We have a display here of, um, you know, the big culprits, mm -hmm. or one of the big culprits that you hear about a lot that hopefully most people have heard is sugary drinks. Yes. It's really bad for you. Yes. Coke has 27 grams of sugar. That's seven teaspoons right. of sugar. Right. That's and just plain refined sugar. Right. And that's added in, in one serving, which is eight ounces. It's a small, mm -hmm. relatively small serving. And that's a lot of sugar mm -hmm. in a small serving. And the problem with getting uh, a lot of sugar and calories from your drinks is that it doesn't necessarily uh, fill you or make you mm -hmm. feel satiated. You still want to eat. You still want right. to drink. That's that much sugar in an eight ounce glass. So some drinks, you, they seem healthy, but they're not. Vitamin water, vitamins, right? You're thinking you're getting nutrition. 32 grams of sugar per bottle. So avoid these. Definitely. Tonic water, it says water, but it, it actually has um, 27 grams, the same as a Coke. Yes. In tonic water, even though it's, it's water, supposedly. It's right. sugary water. Right. Um, so what is, what is actually recommended? How much sugar should we be having? So we are, the average person is taking in 88 grams. Mm -hmm. So this is 27, so that's like a third of, third of a day right. for one serving. What, right. should, what is recommended? What is what recommended from the American Heart Association mm -hmm. is that women get about um, six teaspoons a day, which is 24 grams. Men get about nine teaspoons a day. And something interesting, children, about three teaspoons a day, which is 12 grams. So you're already, one cup of the Coke, you're already way over the limit for over, a child. Right. So no one needs this type of added sugar mm -hmm. actually to live. It's non-nutritive. But to have so much of it in our diet, That's definitely. when it becomes toxic. Yes. It, it okay. has its health. Um, okay. Costs, no doubt. And then are all sugars so so sugary drinks? Obviously, pay attention to the label. There's a lot in there, and, and avoid yes. them. You yes. drink water. What about? So we have a variety of sugars here. This is the refined. This is your what we're talking <coughs> about: refined white sugar. You have a variety of other sugars here. Are some of these better than using refined white sugar? Um, well, one would think that. They were, <laughs> but it really... <laughs> it's still added sugar, it's regardless. It's still added sugar, whether it's agave or... E e now, the agave and the um, molasses mm -hmm. and honey, these all have some nutritive value. There's some minerals in them mm -hmm. that are... So they're not necessarily like the white sugar would have no nu nutrition value whatsoever. Right. But the other sugars do have some. But the problem mm -hmm. is, if you're using a lot of these sugars, you're still going to have the health effects. Okay. It has the same health effects. So just because it's organic or raw form, it's still having the effect on right. your body that right. having too much sugar. Exactly. Yeah. We are going to be back in a minute, and we are, Rita is going to share with us some practical tips for reducing sugar in common daily food products. You've brought um, some tips on reducing sugar in common areas that we get a lot of sugar, which is, is a little bit surprising. But let's step back and talk about why is it that our, we're all eating so much sugar? What, what is it about? I mean, it tastes good, obviously. <laughs> right. So what's what, you know, it seems I've tried to cut some sugar back just in planning for the show at home, and it's making my kids downright angry. So what, what's the deal with it? Why right. are we eating so much? Right. And, and that's a good point. Your kids get angry. My kids get angry when I limit or say I'm going to take away some sugar. Mm -hmm. So that's the point. We're, um, we're, we can get addicted to sugar. And, and it is 
And that's uh, some, not uncommon. I mean, no. that's not. Yeah. And the thing about sugar is that more, the, like a lot of different things that we are, could be addicted to, mm -hmm. the more you eat, the more you want. Mm -hmm. So it's not just that you eat it and you're satiated and you're like, I'm fine, I had my sugar. Um, You've had your sugar fix. Fix, right. And if you're in a body in balance, could say that, a body that doesn't eat so much sugar. But mm -hmm. because it's in, it's insidious. It's in a lot of products we don't expect it to be in. Mm -hmm. And then we want more. And then we want dessert every day. And then we want dessert at every meal. Yep. And I know my children and even, you know, myself, I can, will go for that and say, oh, no, you know, I don't want to have that particular product because it does, I know it has a lot of sugar in it. Right. So. But you have to pay careful attention. That because is. Because you don't realize. Yes. Being right. mindful of everything right. that is in the food that we eat, especially the packaged mm -hmm. food. And it's interesting too, um, before we do the recipe, there are studies that show, it's been proven that the addiction to sugar is the same as, uh, it's the same process that goes on in your body when people are addicted to mm -hmm cocaine and heroin. There was yeah. a big study that was just done at Connecticut College mm -hmm. that Oreos in rats are just as addictive to rats as heroin was. So there's a combination of that sugar f high that you get and mm -hmm. Oreos have fat as well, which is like the double whammy. But right. So it's, a, it's hard. So reducing sugar is going to be hard. Yes. It's going to be a challenge. So wh what do we do? What do you recommend? How okay. do we wean ourselves off? Well, you can start by looking at the things, looking at labels, and we'll talk about, we've talked about that, we'll talk about that some more, and saying what are the things that I like to eat that have high sugar, mm -hmm. and that we could make it home with better sugars mm -hmm. and with a smaller amount of sugar. So one of the things um, I know that we have at our house is breakfast. Breakfast is like a big sugar fest in it's the United States. It's hard to find. Even healthy cereals yes. have more than a recommended amount of sugar. Yes, in them. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you want something that's going to stay with you. So you want mm -hmm. some fats, you want some proteins, and you do want some carbs, not necessarily processed sugar, but some carbs. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we make in my house that I love to make is granola. So I've brought all okay. the ingredients to whip up a, a easy granola that you can okay. do. And then once you make this batch, you can have it for, in the, keep it in the refrigerator, you can have it for a couple of weeks, which is okay. nice. So you don't have to make it all the so time. People, so one of the big snack foods these days is granola bars. And mm -hmm. it's also brec kind of a breakfast food. But when you look at the labels, like this is a Kashi granola bar. This has nine grams of sugar, so two teaspoons of sugar, which is, this is a child's full day quantity right. of sugar, right? Yes. So one bar. Um, things like Z bars, which are, you think are healthy, they're power bars, they're giving protein to your kids. This has 12 grams of sugar per right. bar. And the bars are not that big. I mean, they're, they're little bars. So that's that's where you run into trouble, is not realizing right. how much sugar is in something. Right. And you can eat and it without thinking. granola doesn't mean it's, it says granola doesn't mean it's healthy, but this is a healthier alternative granola uh, type product. Yes, because, okay. and anytime you make something, you can control, mm -hmm. you can control it. You don't know, you're not going to put fructose mm -hmm. in your granola, okay? You're going to put. Which is what, well these don't, but other yeah, types but, of granola Yeah, but, or you, you're have, not going right? to pick up high fructose corn syrup and put it in something. Mm -hmm. Generally at home, we don't do that. So right. that's why we have these ingredients here, which we okay. have the, um, the seeds and nuts that we put in. These are our oats, and I use the regular um, old-fashioned oats, not the instant. And then some um, pepita uh, seeds, which are the pumpkin seeds, which okay. um, add a lot to the mix. Then we have some, it, they add uh, obviously flavor color, and texture, which is really mm -hmm. nice. And then some walnuts. I also like to put in some seeds. And today we have some sesame seeds. And then I put in some coconut, because that adds, even though it's not sweetened coconut, it mm -hmm. adds a little so sweetened. it's not sweetened coconut. Right, okay. unsweetened coconut. Make most, sure you A do lot that. of coconuts do have sugar added. Another so. thing that's really important mm -hmm. for flavor is to make sure you put in some spices. So this is some cardamom and some cinnamon okay. and a little bit of salt okay. and the salt will also bring out the flavor. So these are the dry ingredients and okay. what you do is just mix up the dry okay. ingredients and, and we'll post this recipe online as well. And then we'll just mix it up really well. And um, so, so far we haven't added any sugar. No, no. this okay. is just the dry ingredients. So 
Then what I do is, we, this is where we add some fat, so there's, I use olive oil in this, okay. um, because we're going to bake it at a low heat, and then also honey, just some okay. so plain honey, honey. Okay. and then we're going to add that here, and I'm also going to add, once again, the flavoring is important, because we only are adding one half a cup of honey, um, so that's not as much sugar as you might have. And then I am going to add, let me get my spoon here, a little bit of vanilla. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then we're going to mix it up. So when you, when you reduce sugar, you have to be mindful of maybe adding some other flavors in. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, you know, we have been programmed in this country not to want to eat fat. Yes. And the fat is True. actually, it's yes. It's blamed for all our heart disease. Right. So it turns out sugar is a big contributor as well. Right. Well, mm -hmm. and there are good fats, as we know. We've talked about that a lot mm -hmm. in the media. Olive oil is actually a good fat. Mm -hmm. And it's really important to have fat in our diets because it does, especially with this being for breakfast, it's really right. great to have the fat so that it will keep us full. It okay. won't make us want to eat more at, you know, 11, so right. to have 11 right. Z's. You know, you okay. want to, you're, you're full until your next meal. Okay. and you feel good. This Great. will give you energy because it has all of the seeds and the, mm -hmm. the protein in the nuts. It'll, it has the, um, also it has the wonderful um, oats that give you lots mm -hmm. of fiber, protein, fat, so you have it all. And you also have a little bit, there's about a teaspoon and a half of the honey in each serving okay. in, in this recipe. And then I'll also, I would bake it just like this. And then after it's baked on, on a sheet, a sheet okay. pan mm -hmm. in the oven, it's about, I bake it about 300. So okay. it's a low, slow, it's not mm -hmm. very high. It gets brown, it gets crispy, mm -hmm. it gets beautiful. And then after it comes out of the oven and cools, then I would add the half a cup of, this is um, cranberries mm -hmm. and um, some dates. Okay. So I would add that afterwards. So you don't want to add that in because then they'll get all toasty and too they'll crunchy. Okay. Yeah, you don't want okay. that. So, so add that in afterwards. Add that in afterwards. And then this is what it looks like in the end? Yes. And the, and now at my home, we don't add the, f uh, the uh, dried fruits. So this is without dried fruits okay. because I have one person in my family that's not crazy about dried fruits. But oh, okay. we can add it after as or you as you go. Just, as you go. Just sprinkle okay. a little bit on. But Great. this is it. It's nice and crunchy and uh, nice and browned. And it, uh, it, I keep it right in the jar, put it in the fridge, right. and we eat it as, as we go. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now, the other breakfast food that is a culprit of a lot of I don't know if it's hidden sugar, but I think I think people don't realize how much sugar is in it is yogurt. Yes. And um, Greek yogurt is all the all the fad these days. I'm gonna right. put this back here. Um, but there is a lot of added sugar in in Greek yogurt. This container of Chobani with the fruit has um, 16 grams of sugar compared to the plain that has no added sugar, which is seven grams of sugar. Right. So you're getting nine grams of sugar, two teaspoons of sugar. If you're a woman, that's more than a third of your daily sugar, added sugar intake. So right. that's the added sugars. Um, you think you're doing something healthy by eating a cup of yogurt for breakfast. It has exactly. protein in it, right? High protein, exactly. but beware the sugar. Adding all the sugar, it's not necessary to add all that sugar. It is quite a bit of sugar. And just to mention that um, where you talked about the um, sugar in the in the um, Greek yogurt, that mm -hmm. is lactose again, just mm -hmm. like in the milk. In the plain. So it's naturally right. so occurring, plain, mm -hmm. um, has naturally occurring lactose in it, right. which is not a bad thing. So we have to make sure that when you're saying, oh my gosh, it has 17 grams of sugar, you're realizing that some of that is a good, is not a, a, a non-beneficial sugar. Okay. It actually is a nutritious sugar. And so you'd figure that out by comparing it with something that in the ingredients has sugar exactly. added. Exactly. Okay. And you know that's true in a lot of cereals that have dried fruit in it. You don't know which is from the dried right. fruit and which like is raisin bran has a exactly. lot of sugar in it, but raisins have sugar. That's right. not bad necessarily. It's very hard. It's very confusing for. Um, mm -hmm. Consumers, we cannot tell exactly how much added sugar, and that's mm -hmm. what we're really that's what we're after. trying to cut out of our diet. So, what do you recommend for yogurt? Getting our yogurt to be a little bit more healthy. Well, what I recommend is going with the plain yogurt because it is really um, the healthiest option. Okay. And then so adding the vanilla in, flavored right. extra sugar out, okay. and then adding in some fresh fruit and whatever fruit you have. Now, if you don't have fresh, because this time of year. It's tough. hard. Mm -hmm. So um, frozen is okay. wonderful, and it adds a big flavor. So we're going to add this.
fresh fruit. I'm going to keep a little bit out for garnish for later. And then I, usually I just kind of try to mash it up. And what happens is, and this won't happen because we're not having mm -hmm. that much um, space in here, but what happens is that it'll kind of turn into like a jam, you know, jammy. Uh, so you're actually crushing some yeah. of the strawberries. You okay, crush so the juice it into it, in and okay. every, every bite you have some of the natural um, Fruit. fruits in okay. there. So that's what I recommend. And if you can do this the night before, then it really mm -hmm. kind of permeates and makes it uh, taste like it is... Um, One of these pre, pre Exactly, right. strawberry. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a little parfait, and we're going to put some mm. of the wonderful yogurt and strawberries in this uh, pretty little glass. See, it's uh, mm -hmm. about six ounces, which is what you normally would get in a cup of yogurt. And then I'm going to put some of our granola in, okay. and then some more yogurt. And um, my children um, pretty much go nuts for this. Really? Any time of day. And uh, once again, you've got your protein in here, mm -hmm. and a little more granola on it. Now, if you're used to having the highly sugared, my, my husband and I experimented with this this idea, and he he didn't add any sugar. And then one day, he so he did a fruit fruit and yogurt, no added sugar. And then one day he had one of these, and he's like, "Wow, it is it is much sweeter." Yes. And he was okay with that. But if you really feel like you need a little bit of that right. extra sugar, what would you say? Once maple again, syrup. Yes, or you can control it by putting a little bit of maple syrup mm -hmm. in it. And I do do that for our kids sometimes. Mm -hmm. I make sure that I put, even if it's just a teaspoon mm -hmm. or a half a teaspoon, it just because. Actually, um, yogurt is, is a little bitter. It's tart. Yes, and particularly Greek yogurt. So to kind mm -hmm. of balance that out, mm -hmm. it's not a, a terrible thing. And once, once again, you can train your palate mm -hmm. to not want the sweet right. thing so much. So, so maybe you start with a little bit more, and then over the weeks, exactly. less and less and less until you don't right. want it. Right. And okay. then if you're adding um, blueberries, frozen fruit, mm -hmm. that really kind of like permeates um, beautifully, mm -hmm. and it turns the whole thing blue. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. It's very fun. Okay. So you can Great. do it with all different different kinds of fruits. Good. And I think your idea of doing it the night before is great too because again my husband has been experimenting with this because he loves yogurt and fruit mm -hmm. and he's like I hate doing this in the morning. It's way too much work. He's like if I did it at the night before I, he's fine eating it. He likes the taste. Right. He's like it takes too much work in the morning so doing it the night before is right. the best idea. Right. Exactly. Okay. Great. Well we're going to take one more break and set up for one more recipe. Stay tuned. One of the places where sugar is really hidden is in tomato-based products, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And the biggest offender is? Um, probably, the, yeah, ketchup, definitely. <laughs> ketchup, right? <laughs> Which is one of, thank you for yes. leading, um, <laughs> one of the things that I know in our house we use a lot. I have right. one child that's very interested in having ketchup on a lot of different things. So what happens with ketchup is that it is a condiment, but it's also a sweet and sour Mm -hmm. thing. So what happens is that you put in the vinegar and then you need to put in the sugar to offset that. It. Yes. Right. So there are some with a lot of high fructose corn syrup. Mm -hmm. I know you brought one that doesn't, that has, uh, I believe, sweetened with like a cane sugar. Right. Or this one is not high fructose. It's just plain regular sugar. sugar. But still it's sugar. Yes. And mm -hmm. it acts in your body the same way. It gets broken mm -hmm. down the same way. So it's not, um, it's really something to just be aware of, mm -hmm. to know. Um, a, you know, a serving, a tablespoon. It's not, you know, a half a cup. <laughs> right. Don't douse your yeah. French fries in gobs of it. Right. Portion it out. Yeah. One tablespoon is a serving of ketchup, and a third of that is added sugar. That's surprising to me. Yes. So those kinds of the things are just to be aware. You can still have ketchup. Right. But just be more careful be about exact. how much. And they okay. add up in your diet if you're having, right. you know, the cereal, the yogurt, the ketchup, the, you know, and then all of a sudden you have many, many. Right. You end up with the, seven, what was it, 77? Yes. <laughs> 77 grams, grams per day, which is. 22 teaspoons. Too much for your body. Amount, yeah. Right. So you you have an alternative. There's also tomato sauce has, some tomato sauces, not all, but have a lot of added sugar. This one has um, 12 grams of sugar, and of that, about nine grams are not are not are added sugar. They're not right. from the natural tomato-based right. sugar. So 
half a cup. I mean, that's you have a bowl of pasta, and you're adding two teaspoons. Right, and you of don't sugar. necessarily you don't want think of it your that sugar way. in your pasta bowl, right? Um, you don't need. You don't exactly. necessarily need to feel like it's sweet, right? right? You don't need it, but it is offsetting the bitterness that some people perceive of the tomatoes, depending mm -hmm. on when they were picked or what type of tomatoes they are. And it's a you know cheap and easy way to do that right. as well. So a lot of the canned and bottled jar sauces have that. But if you do it at home, mm -hmm. um, there you are ways control. around it. Yes. Right. So okay. what so I how recommend? Do you do this? Yes. What I recommend doing is I brought some um, chopped onions and then some carrots. The carrots are sweet, and onions when they mm -hmm. cook down, even though you wouldn't at not the raw state, but when they cook down, they get sweet as yes. well. So what I've done is I've cooked them in a little just a Mm -hmm. A tablespoon of olive oil, and I cook them in this pot until they cook down. You can see how the onions have gotten kind of golden brown mm -hmm. and they're sweet, and the carrots will. And it smells yummy. Yeah, are sweet <laughs> as well. And I did put in some garlic too okay. because I love garlic in my um, pasta sauce. And then what you do is really, it's so simple. You just add your canned. So this jarred, is just plain tomatoes. Very, uh, that's tomatoes. all that's in this, okay. in the ingredients are tomatoes. And then I would just simmer this on the stove for about uh, 20 minutes. Let the flavors kind of just meld together. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, I would check for seasoning. You may want to put in a little pepper. You may mm -hmm. want to put one of the other um, secrets, <coughs> as we talked about earlier, is seasonings. Um, yeah. Basil is a wonderful, you don't think of it as sweet, but it does add a lovely, like mm -hmm. licorice Particularly fresh. Sweetness, mm -hmm. yes. So I would chop up or chiffonade some basil and put that in right before you serve it. It'll be, add a really nice, um, round balance to okay. your sauce. And in, in this type of sauce, you'll have, it'll be sweet, it'll be lovely, the carrots will cook down mm -hmm. in the 20 minutes, you won't, you know, your kids won't be picking them out and saying, there's carrots yes. in the sauce. No kidding? Yes. yes. That would happen in And family. they do cook down and it makes a you lovely tomato sauce. So. so could you make a big batch of this and freeze it? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so you could do it ahead. Because I know there, there is convenience in buying bottled sauce. No doubt. And if you do go the bottled sauce route, just be aware. Because there are some that have a lot less, that right. don't have a lot of added exactly. sugar. Exactly. So just be aware of what yeah. those differences are. And know are. that tomatoes do have some mm -hmm. naturally occurring sugar. It's right. about, what did we say, five grams and a half a cup. So yep. know that that's... Um, yeah, four that, to five. Yeah, right. that, so that actually be a comes normal serving. in the tomato. It is not a bad sugar. So Okay, great. So what, what is the, bi the big picture ideas for people to take away from this are sugar is something to be concerned about. Mm -hmm. it, it is addictive. Yes. As yes. Addic you know, in, in evidence of our Oreos, our right. addictive Oreos. Right. Um, so it's, it's hard. It's a hard process to kind of wean yourself yes. off yes. of it. So slow. You can go slow. You can be mindful. You can read your labels know what is added sugar and what is not mm -hmm. and don't stress about it. I think that's a big mm -hmm. deal because you know there are there, stress is really bad for your health too. Yes. Sugar <laughs> is bad and stress is yes. bad and when we talked about um, bringing this home to our families and how difficult that is. Mm -hmm. So it, it is a hard process and it's something that you can do slowly. I know one of the things we did is do dessert night only one or two nights a week so mm -hmm. you know you have that dessert but it's not going to be every single day. And if it's naturally occurring, uh, you can good eat it. Good to go. Don't Absolutely, worry about it. Absolutely, yes. You should have... Now, if that's all you're eating, that's a problem. You don't want to overeat any one thing. But right. But enjoy... Get your sugars from your fruit, mm -hmm. not your juice. Absolutely. And get your sweet fix over there. Yes. Not over here. Correct. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you, Sarah. This has been great. If you want more information about how to reduce sugar in your diet or have questions for Rita, check out her Facebook page. And don't forget to tune in next month to a brand new episode.